Remember, following the gold markers on your map will lead you to your quest. Monster attack in the picnic area! Follow me! Hurry! It's this way! Pl Thanks for saving me. I'm gonna tell everyone about you. Thank you so much. Wait till everyone hears about this. Your bow may prove useful against the Wasp Queen. More Wasps have spawned, but they are no match for your weapon. You've received a new quest card. Maze is looking for you. He waits for you in the Barstone Tavern. I used to be. Look at this filthy pile of rags. He really expects people to give him gold. Well, if you want, I'll tell you something that'll really annoy him. Used to be an adventurer like yourself, but look at me now. Begging to survive and getting bullied by this brat all the time. You must be able to get rid of him somehow. Anything will do. Use your imagination. I swear there's maggots crawling out of him. Ah, you're as bad as that stinking beggar. Oh, I'm out of here. Ha ha ha! Funniest thing I've seen in years. You've earned my thanks, hero. I'm sure you'll make many friends in your travels. Perhaps we'll meet again, hero.
Oi! You're new here, aren't you? We have some rules around here that you need to know about. Bowerstone is a peaceful town. Ah, I'll have to confiscate your weapons for now. There are shops, inns, lots of different people, games, <laughs> all kinds of things. Why not pay the tavern a visit first? It's the building in front of you, just up the road from here. Oh, and keep an eye open for Lady Grey. Treat her with respect. She is the mayor after all. Have a look around and enjoy your stay in Bowerstone. Come to the right place. to find something to suit you. Things are quite a hero. That was. Yeah. 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 Can make it a 
Let's go, then. Wow. Been enjoying all the attention, have you? Yes. I heard about your encounter with the Wasp Queen. Most of Bowerstone is talking about it. But, um, you shouldn't let that kind of thing go to your head. Uh, anyway, that's not why I called you here. You see, there are dark forces gathering that put your giant insect to shame. Tell me, how much do you remember of the night I took you to the guild? Of the raid on Oakvale? Not much, I wager. A most terrible night. I thought those bandits had killed your whole family, and that you were going to be next. But it seems there may have been another survivor. Your sister. I'm afraid it's only a rumor, and there's no way to be certain yet, but I thought you should know. And for pity's sake, boy, Make sure you replace that basic equipment while you're here. Yeah! Check, Check the, the guild, guild for more quests. Isaiah's having problems at Orchard what? Farm. Some oh, hello, forgive me. Here. I'm Mr. Gout, the headmaster of the school here. Not that it's much of a school these days, the way Lady Grey keeps slashing her funding. Can you believe she sold half our library? As if mansions were more important than the education of our children. Anyway, if you could donate any suitable books you find on your travels, you'd be doing us a great favor. You don't look like no any books for us today, to hero? Why, that's The Creatures of Albion, Volume 1. A, a perfect way to learn natural sciences. Thank you, Hero. I'm sure we can put this to good use. Today, we'll be studying Volume 1 of The Creatures of Albion. Now, who here knows what screamers are? I bet you've never heard one, though, have you? That's because they stay away from the towns. But out in the countryside, it's a rather different story. And you can sometimes hear them crying out in the night. Their scream can pierce even the bravest of men's hearts. Hearing it will not just chill you to the bone, but sap your energy, too. According to the sage Richard Phillips, they feed upon the life force of men, sucking out their souls. Either way, if you ever see one, you'll soon end up like them. Screaming. <laughs> hero! Any oh, books hero. for us today, Hero? What's <laughs> going on? Anything the about story him? of Jack of Blades should keep the little everyone. ones in line. Ah, it lifts one's spirits to see a hero take such a keen interest in education. Who's the red-robed warrior that brings death and destruction to all of Albion? Jack! Who's the legend in the mask with the strength of ten heroes? It's Jack! Who's the demon that stalks in the night? Dragging their children into hell! Jack? Some say that Jack of Blades has lived forever and is not of this world. But there are those who claim it is not Jack, but his mask that we should fear, and that many men have worn it over the centuries. Whatever the truth, he is not someone to be crossed. Chicken chaser. Ooh, do you have head. a donation there? Oh. The other land looks like a charming story. Thank
Thank you, hero. I'm sure we can put this to good use. <clears throat> Twas in the latter days of the kingdom old that a boatload of travelers, wheat and rice, fleeing our land for fear of the sword, discovered an island that was true paradise. There were they welcomed by the native folk with gifts of fruit and fowl and pig and trout and a strange kind of ale brewed from egg yolk that the refugees drank till it knocked them out. Soon they were stirred from their peaceful slumbers by the splattery coughs of their gracious hosts who had taken ill and were dying in numbers of colds their visitors had brought to their coasts. Ere long, the kindly natives were all but extinct, and as they knew not how to gather nature's bounty, the fate of the foreigners to theirs was linked. They died of starvation, though surrounded by plenty. A few local survivors did their paradise rebuild erecting this time a great fortress in the sand. It would stop them once more getting killed. Lest those ba um, bad people from Albion return to their land. What? What do you think, <laughs> everyone? It's the chicken chaser, killer of chickens. Oh, woe is me. My son is poorly. It's me boy. My poor little boy. We were on a picnic at Lookout Point when he found these... these strange mushrooms. The witch in Bowerstone Key says we shouldn't worry, but she needs more of the mushrooms before she can cure him. I would find them myself, but I need to look after Aldi. Please, could you help us? sent here by an irritating young lady, the one with the comatose kid. Don't look so surprised. I am a witch, you know. I read tea leaves on Thursdays. Besides, uh, you're not the first fool she sent my way. Find me four blue mushrooms, and I can brew up an antidote. But there's no hurry. The stuff won't kill him. <laughs> the little tyke's probably having the time of his life. Hello there. I don't think you've met my daughter, have you? She's rather lovely, if I say so myself, though a bit fussy. She's keen to meet strong, handsome men like you. Ah, that's good news. I think she was starting to get a bit lonely. Thing is, she only likes men whose hair looks like the picture on this car. Maybe if you looked like that, she'd let me introduce you to her. Come and find me when you're ready. I won't be far away.
Remember, stay legal. What's he doing? Where are you going, then? Chicken, Jason. Jason. This one looks promising. Oh, hello. You must be the kid Maze is always talking about. Can't imagine what he sees in you. Still, I suppose Maze knows best. But where are my manners? I'm Briar Rose. No doubt you've heard of me. No time for autographs, I'm afraid. I have to get to Knothole Glade for an important mission. Speaking of which, if you came for a quest card, all the best ones have gone already. I'm sure the Guild can find you something to do, though. I hear the kitchens need cleaning. Pointed here. What can I do you, you for? You're sure to find something to suit you. to the right place.
Jenna and Isaiah. to the right place. Boy, stop being so annoying, you you in something? Uh, oh, are you talking to me? You know, sound waves can make your head spin into the sun. I've seen it happen, man. If only I hadn't lost my mushroom of truth in the guild, I'd be able to show you. Well, Hey, uh, hey, if you keep really still, I can see your skeleton. Oh, you're from the guild, aren't you? Man, what a place. Uh, if you go back there, maybe you can find our mushroom. I was standing on those stepping stones in that pool where the door talks. Man, it just flew right out of my head. So you're going to be doing some work down at Orchard Farm, are you? I knew that was your true calling. I saw Lady Grey set the opposite quest in the guild yesterday. Maybe I should pick it up. I hope you've been practicing. You'll need all the experience you can get to beat me. See you later, farm boy. Sure to find something to suit you. to get shot of him. I think we can do a special offer for you, sir.
artist. Oh, thank Avo, you're here. I thought no one would answer our guild request. I've arranged some more security to back you up, but there are so many bandits that they'll tear my farm apart. I wish we'd never found those damn stones. They brought us nothing but trouble. My wife Jenna won't let them anywhere near the house, so we've left them in some crates in the barn. They must be worth a fortune. They say Lady Grey wants them. I've already lost three farmhands in these raids. That must be them now. I better go inside and look after my wife. She's terrified. Right, let's move. Some more bandits are approaching. <laughs> Look out! More bandits! So, you've learned some new moves, have you? Well, you're not the only one. I hope you've learned how to flourish, because that's the only way you're going to get close to me. Go on, try to hit me with a flourish. So you can do it. You beat me again! I suppose this quest is yours then. But you can't stay lucky forever, farm boy. We're bound to meet again, and I'll be ready. You did it! I can't tell you how grateful we are! Someone should be round Ooh. to pick up the boxes soon, so we shouldn't have any more problems. Can't see why there's been so much fuss about those stones. Been glad to see the back of them myself. Must be worth plenty of money to someone, though. I'll make sure to tell everyone about you. We need heroes like you around. Hey! You're now renowned enough to use the sneer expression. You have reached unsung status. Check the guild for more quests. That's my... 
You're sure to find something to suit you. I hope you're watching over the traders as they pass through the forest. to play with the other children, have you? Shame Whisper has such a soft spot for you. She should have taught you a lesson in Orchard Farm. But she'll learn. I only hope you both end up in the arena one day. Then we'll see who the greater hero is. But I've wasted enough time talking. The guild master needs me back at the guild. He can't entrust important quests to novices like you. School's closed at the moment, hero. The traders are so nervous of bandit attacks in the forest. the perfect haircut. My daughter will be very happy, but I forgot she also prefers men with beards that look a lot like the one on this card. Come back and see me when you've got a beard like that. Don't worry, I won't wander too far. to look the part now. No moustache, though. Didn't I mention she loves the one on this card? You better hurry along. Come and find me again when you're ready. You won't have to look far. My daughter will be so happy. Farm, I've heard. 
Nice selection of face fungus you have there. But to be honest, I don't give two hoots what you look like. And neither does my daughter. She doesn't even exist. I just like making heroes like you look stupid. Have you seen yourself? You look ridiculous. But you've made me happy. So here's a little reward. Now go and have a shame. Traders are so nervous of bandit attacks in the forest. Hmm, do you have a dead wife? This book would be perfect. I've yet to meet a child who isn't fascinated by dragons. Why don't you stay and listen, hero? It's never too late to learn. <clears throat> a long time ago, well before the age of the Old Kingdom, the skies of Albion were full of fearsome, majestic dragons. They flew wherever they wished, ate the people's livestock, rained down fire on their villages, and distressed their damsels. Then came the Kingdom of Archon. And with it, heroes who hunted the dragons for sport, almost driving them to extinction. Before long, every home in Albion had dragon scale curtains, dragon claw back scratchers, and dragon foot paperweights. The few remaining dragons fled to the northern wastes, and there they remain to this day. Though they are nowhere near as powerful now as they once were, they still represent a hero's ultimate test. Hi! Any He's books for us? Oh, no, my children are always you. asking me about the arena. Oh, they'll love this. That's who he is. Ah, it lifts one's spirits to see a hero take such a keen interest in education. Uh, how many of you have been to the Witchwood Arena? Ah, but have you ever stopped to look at the statues in the Hall of Heroes? Some of the greatest heroes in Albion's history are celebrated there. Mighty champions who conquered the arena and the people's hearts. In the days of the Old Kingdom, heroes would lead their fans into battles so they could see their skill and bravery in combat. But all too often, Spectators would find themselves torn limb from limb by balverines, or caught in the backwash of a hero's spell. And so, the arena was built in Witchwood, to give heroes a permanent stage on which to fight their duels without endangering the audience. Creatures are brought there from all over Albion for heroes to face battles get more elaborate with every year that passes. But one rule remains unchanged. Should either hero wish it, the final battle between them can be fought to the death. What was a sissy like you? Yeah, do you have a donation? Hmm. A love story. How sweet. With a title like that, I'm sure this will be suitable for the children. Why don't you stay and listen, hero? It's never too late to learn. The way of the warrior doth take its toll on a hero's face. And ere long, women will fly and escape before he can give chase. Scarred and dejected, a hero named Ralph stole all of the trader's riches. 
He made use of their gold and bought romantic gifts for all of the uh, ladies. <laughs> the women of Albion fell at his feet, and Ralph had the pick of the town, till he finally chose a pretty young girl and bought her a fine wedding gown. But too late did he see that love that is true isn't founded on wealth. His wife's only care was for money and gems he kept up on the shelf. By way of divorce, Ralph exercised his axe on her head. This he did mount up Yay! on the wall, just over the bed. So did the woman sadly become the world's first trophy wife. And Ralph did give up the matrimonial for the hero's life. I wish he was my friend. Seems like a nice guy to me. Enjoy yourself. Ale, please. Greetings indeed. Look, there's Great Royal. Lord, I see they're letting the children out of the guild early these days. <laughs> You're not going to start chanting my name with the rest of these simpletons, are you? Honestly, you complete a quest, start showing your trophy, and next thing you know, you can't get a moment's peace. I mean, just listen to them. At least you don't have to worry about high renown and being followed everywhere. Now, move aside, will you? I don't need you crowding me too. Have you seen how many oh, trophies she has? Master. It's amazing. Rune master. <laughs> Looks all right. Ready to help? Prices vary from place to place, you know. Hey, you can't come up here. You need a permit. Follow. Ah, there is an important quest card at the guild for you. Ah. 
Have a nice visit. Are you coming along on the tour, hero? Seems all right. All right there, room master. <laughs> <laughs> I've been hearing that some traders need help. Take the quest card to find out. Pointed here. Strange looking man. Look, I ate the mushroom in it. They all said I'd laugh my niggas off if I ate it, and I like totally did, and like I'm not. So far, it's a big zero of chuckles. Can you make me laugh? Come on, like in it, please. Hey, old friend. Hmm, that was supposed to be like. Oh, right. he's well named that rune map. Hey, seems a nice enough guy. <laughs> a hero that dances? What clown? Do another one. Another one. Hey! Hey! Oh, he's just a... the one they call Runa. Nice to see you.
You are clearly becoming adept with combat multipliers. You're now good enough to use the apologize expression. Ah, there you are. About time you showed up. I was going to start without you. I was just telling your friend here, the whole orchard's overrun with hobs. I could get rid of them myself, but it might be more fun like this. Whoever kills the most hobs gets the trophy, right? I don't care how you do it, just stick them before they drink all my scrumpy. The little sods cracked open my crate down by the river at the far end of the path. Guess that's where we should go. Race you there. Why are you talking to me? Kill the hobs! My stock will be ruined! Oh, 
You really don't like hobbits, do you? You won't wait for me, will you? Hero, your rule energy is low. What's that? Well done. You really taught the Hobbs a lesson. They'll think twice before they try stealing from me again. Not bad. Don't think it'll be easy next time, though. I suppose the trophy is yours, then. For now. I've had enough of this. Maybe the guild has something more interesting for me. We'd better make a move now and check on the damage. You have reached recognized status. You're now renowned enough to use the manly arm pump expression.